Welcome to Snay, the show where we provide you with music to give you a lift, motivation to lift you higher, and ministry so you can soar and catapult into the heavens and become all that God intended for you to be when he made you. I am your host, Dr. Jermaine Gordon, and we have a very exciting show lined up for you. We want to just say we are in what is called the Holy Week, the Holy Week, and we're going to be sharing music, we're going to be sharing motivation, we're going to be sharing scriptures, and we have a question for you this week. To, take, to kick things off, we want to start with sharing a very powerful scripture coming from Psalm chapter 9. Here goes. Psalm 9 from verse 13 to 20. Be kind to me, God. I've been kicked around long enough. Once you pulled me back from the gates of death, I'll write the book on hallelujahs. On the corner of Main and First, I'll hold a street meeting. I'll be the song leader. We'll fill the air with salvation songs. They are trapped those godless countries in the very snares they set their feet all tangled in the net they spread they have no excuse the way god works is well known the cunning machinery made by the wicked has maimed their own hands the wicked bought a one-way ticket to hell no longer will the poor be nameless no more humiliation for the humble up god aren't you fed up with their empty strutting expose their grand pretensions shake them up god show them how silly they look schools and the communities and sharing the message of Jesus Christ. It is a part of our effort to reinforce righteousness in the nation and we want to give you again just a snippet of what it is like out there going into these schools and sharing Jesus Christ in the devotion, teaching them about money sense and teaching them about forgiveness and the importance of, of, of holding things in their right perspective when I was growing up certainly when I was growing up we love people and we use things today they love things and they use people so it's a part of our effort to, to get things in their right priority and so we want to give you a, a sneak preview of that here goes the negative voice is coming at you at school. The negative voice is coming at you at church. The negative voice is coming at you in your community. The negative voice is coming through the media. Every single day of your life, you have to shut out the negative voices. And run, come on, run. Run with dignity. Run with respect. Run with discipline. Run with Jesus at the center of your life. That you are the light of the world. Run. Every single day of your life, you will meet some people who won't believe in your dreams. But you gotta keep on running. And when you shut out the negative voices, you replace those voices with what the word of God says about you. Philippians 4:13. I can do. All things through Christ who strengthens me. Cast the hands and the eyes of everybody. Say Lord. Lord. I didn't hear you. Say Lord. Lord. Stronger than that. Say Lord. Lord. Today. Today. I forgive. I forgive. Everyone. Everyone. Who has hurt me. Who has hurt me. And caused me pain. And disappointed me. I I let them go. I let them go. And set them free. And set them free. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord. Lord. Today. Today. Let everyone. Let that I, I have hurt and caused pain and, caused pain. and disappointed. And disappointed. Let, me go Let me go today, today. and set me free. 
free. Set me free. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. If you believe the Lord heard that, give him a round of applause. <laughs> no. This time I pray, lift your hands. Everybody lift your hands. Jamaica is filled with talented, gifted, genius people. But if we don't know it, we miss it. And if you're a genius in this school at Swallowfield and you don't have teachers and parents who are gifted to acknowledge your giftedness, you could be in trouble. And so this is part of the reason I have to come here. Everybody lift your hands and say, Father! Father! You come here at Swallowfield and say, Father! I love to worship and worship is we were actually created as worship beings we were made to worship man by his very nature is a worshiper and so I want to just share with you this next song and I pray that it will help you in your time of worship to just lift up the name of the Lord in this holy week God bless you listen to it enjoy it, and worship along
this week's question. Every week we ask a question because we want you to ponder. I have learned recently that Jesus, in his ministry, he asked over 307 questions and he only answered three. It's a part of his method, method in teaching and imparting. And I want to lead you to another question for this week. Here goes. A few weeks ago, we released a new project and the name of the project is Add Trade It All. The song is about trading all that we are to become all that he is. And it's a very appropriate song for this time and this season, this Passover, this Easter. And you are going to be among the first to experience this song in its full length. We want you to enjoy it and we want you to add it. If you're on Spotify, you can add it to your playlist and become one of our, our, our listeners, our monthly listeners. Enjoy it. In all my hopes, I hope in you Cause no one else loves me like you do You saw the need to rescue and save A lost world Thank you God You saw the need to rescue and save Lost world, thank you, God. So I trade it all just to be with you. I trade it all just to live with you. You are my desire. No one else could.
as we move into this weekend, this holy weekend, it is my prayer that the same blood, the same effect that the blood had over 2,000 years ago, it will be true for you right where you are. Even now, Judas is betraying, but while he is betraying, Jesus Christ is redeeming. And so while that is happening, all of this happened so that you and I could have life and have it more abundantly. And so receive life this weekend. Receive the liberty that the blood of Christ Jesus brings. Receive the healing that comes through his blood. Receive the deliverance that is in his blood. Enjoy, enjoy your entire weekend. And remember the reason why we are here and the reason why we are having this time. It's because for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that germane, just call your name, whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And so the same blood is able to heal. The same blood is able to cast out all fear. When the world is suffering because of fear, crippling fear, fear that is incapacitating, and debilitating, and stop you from exercising the power and the authority that you have by the blood of Christ Jesus that is, is active and working right now, even as you listen and watch, that you, all fear will be cast out because fear is not of God. And he says that in the, in the last days, you must ensure that you're not fearful because fear is an enemy to faith. The Lord bless you this weekend. The Lord bless you. Thank you for being a part of this, 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 this show. We'll see you next week, same time, same place. I am your host, Dr. Jermaine Gordon. Everything within me, I declare your glory.
voices and we say hallelujah for you are God you are Lord and you reign forever and ever you you inhabit the praises of your people we give you honor 